Intricate beadwork gets appreciated at the My Beaded Shoes workshop held in Beach Street, Penang. Participants are eager to learn from their instructor, Kule Im, who is experienced in the traditional Nyonya shoe beading craft. Beading kasut mana is one of my hobbies. Uh, and uh, I became serious doing it when I have re resigned from my work. And that was around 14 years ago. The third generation Peranakan says the key to producing a good bit work is to be very focused and patient. Leim says the actual Baba Nyonya technique of shoe beading is known as one bead, one stitch, meaning that one stitch on the even weave fabric must only utilize one bead and not a few beads, or it would not be authentic. 19 people participated in the two hour workshop including 58-year-old home economics lecturer from the teacher's training college in Penang. So since my mother is a Peranakan, yeah, so uh, I also have inherited a pair of uh, expensive slippers from her. So because of that, uh, I came here and uh, this is just the right day and the right time for me to learn so that when I go back to my college, uh, I can uh, give a course uh, to my trainees uh, in, the, uh, in uh, learning how to sew. Two British backpackers are also fascinated by this traditional Baranakan craft that goes back to 15th and 16th century. Um, we just saw it on a flyer and we're just uh, travelling at the moment so we thought we'd try something new. Yeah, I've really enjoyed it. I've never tried it before. It's fun. It's a bit fiddly. The Penang Global Tourism or PGT Organize the workshop that will be held on the last Sunday of every month until December.